One fine day, a smart little soldier came marching down the road. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. He called out on his way home. He carried a backpack and a rifle gun. An old witch was watching him. Good day, young soldier, said the witch, saluting smartly. I'd like to give a handsome soldier like you a gift of some money. The soldier walked over to the witch. She pointed to a big tree close by. Look at that tree over there. There's a big hollow space at the very top. I can tie a rope around your waist and lower you through it. She whispered excitedly. Whatever for? asked the soldier in surprise. Why? To admire the tree's interior, said the witch, laughing aloud. Seriously, why do you think I'd put you to all the trouble? You remember I said I'd give you some money. Is there any under that tree? So what do I do? asked the soldier. Listen to me carefully. At the bottom of the tree is a long passageway, illuminated with hundreds of lamps. There you'll find three doors. It's no big deal opening the doors. All the keys are already in the locks. But it is the dogs you have to look out for, said the witch. What dogs? asked the soldier, completely spellbound. When you open the first door, you'll find a dog guarding a chest full of copper coins. This dog has eyes as big as teacups. But don't let that bother you. I'll give you my blue apron. Put the dog on it, and it won't harm you at all, she told, showing the soldier the apron. What's in the other two rooms? asked the soldier. One has a chest with silver coins, and the other with gold coins. There are dogs with bigger and scarier eyes in the rooms, but when you have the apron, there's really no need to worry, the witch told him. The soldier leaned against his rifle. Surely you'll want something in return for this big favour, asked the soldier. Oh, nothing, nothing at all, said the witch. But if you'd be kind enough to get the old tinder box that my grandmother left behind, I'd be happy. It's a deal, said the soldier, taking the apron and letting the witch secure the rope around his waist. Good day, young soldier. I have a deal for you. Do you want some money? What a strange question. Of course I do. Then listen to me carefully. That tree has a hollow space that leads to a long passageway. There you'll find three doors. Behind these doors are chests full of coins. There are dogs guarding these chests, but don't let them bother you. I'll give you my apron. Put these dogs on it and take all the gold you want. Sounds too good to be true. What do you want in return for this big favour? I don't want any money. It's all yours. Just fetch me the old tinderbox that my grandmother left there. I need it. And how do I get out? Tie a rope around your waist. When you're done, I'll pull you out. Well, I guess it's a deal. Oh, where is my rope? I'm so old and I can't see very well. Can you help me find the rope? That's right. This is a strong and long rope, exactly what we need. What does your tinderbox look like? I have a picture of it, but it's old and torn. You have to put the pieces together. Let's help the soldier assemble the picture. Now I know how it looks. Now off you go, soldier. The witch lowered the soldier through the tree hollow, and the soldier saw that everything she said was true. Soon he reached the passageway lit with lamps. 
He opened the first door and whistled. Wow, what a handsome dog you are. Here, sit on this apron while I collect some coppers, said the soldier, placing the dog on the apron. He stuffed up his pockets, positioning the dog back on the chest, took the apron and went to the next room. He dealt with the dog in the next room as easily. When he saw the silver coins, he tossed away the coppers and stuffed his pockets with silver coins instead. He took the apron and rushed to the third room. The dog that was guarding the chest looked really scary, but the apron did the trick. He threw away the silver coins and stuffed up gold coins in every possible pocket. Then he bade goodbye to the dog, took the apron and set off. He tugged at the rope and called out, I'm ready to come up, witch. The witch called back, Did you get my tinderbox? Oh, I forgot. Wait, I'll fetch it, said the soldier. He found it and asked the witch to hoist him up. Heave ho! said the witch when she pulled the soldier right out of the hollow. So, let me see my tinderbox. The soldier was a little annoyed. What's so special about this old tinderbox that you made me go all the way back to fetch it? He asked. That's none of your business, said the witch. But this only made the soldier angrier. He pushed the witch aside, leapt from the tree, and took off with the gold coins in the tinderbox while the witch howled in despair. Here's the passageway. It's time for a treasure hunt. Let's start with the smallest door. That's the wrong door. Wow, this dog is really big. Come on, help me move the dog onto the apron. We are ready to collect some coins. Good job. Let's open the next door. That's the wrong door. Wow, this dog is huge. We have to move it on the apron as well. This chest is full of silver coins. Help me swap the copper coins with the silver ones. It's time to open the third door. Wow, I've never seen such a big dog ever in my life. Let's move it onto the apron. This chest is full of gold coins. I need to get as many as I can. Hey, did you get my tinderbox? Oh, I forgot all about it. Where was that tinderbox? Let's find all the pieces of tinderbox. Right, it's tinder. It is used for kindling a fire. Good job. This is a piece of flint. This is the case for the tinderbox. That's right. This is the steel for tinderbox. All right, old lady, pull me back up. I found your tinderbox. The soldier decided to rest for a while in the first town. 
It was a nice little place with a cosy inn and friendly people. The soldier boarded in the best room in the inn. The next day, he set out to buy himself from smart clothes, shoes, and accessories. Soon, the soldier came to be known as one of the finest gentlemen in the town. He had everything he wanted. His friends visited him often and praised him to no end. He also came to know about the king and his only daughter. The princess was locked up in a copper castle because a priest had said that she would marry a soldier. The king and queen wanted her to marry a prince, and so they did their best to hide her away. The soldier got busy spending on himself and his nice friends, who had only the best things to say about him. That pretty soon all his wealth was gone. He had only two copper coins left. The landlord pointed out that he had to shift to a cold and drafty room high up in the inn instead of his warm, cosy room. Things changed too. Somehow, his friends found it difficult to climb all the stairs to visit him. One evening, his room was very dark. He had only a small stub of candle left. That was when he remembered the tinder box. He opened it, took the flint out. And struck it hard against the tinder. A spark flew, whoosh! And before him appeared a dog that looked strangely familiar. It had eyes as big as teacups. Your wish is my command," said the dog quietly. "Um, how about getting me a big bag of copper coins, doggy?" said the surprised soldier. The next second, a fat bag full of copper coins dropped near his feet. It didn't take the soldier too long. To figure out how the tinder box worked, strike once for copper coins, twice if one fancied silver coins, and thrice for gold coins. No wonder the witch wanted it. Oof! It's so dark and cold here. It'd be nice to light a fire, but I don't have anything. Wait a minute! Don't I have a tinder box? I hope I can find it. Can you help me to find it? Here it is. Thank you. Your wish is my command. Wow, this is a magic tinder box. I guess it gives me anything I want. Um, how about getting me a bag of gold coins, doggy? It's done, my lord. Good dog. Now I'm rich again. I wanted to buy new clothes. Good. This suit fits me well. I'm starving, but the table is empty. That's nice. I have something good to wear and delicious food to eat. What else do I need? Your wish is my command. I know it's late, but I want to see the princess everybody is talking about. I'll bring her here, my lord. Ah. She is so beautiful. I wish I could marry her. Before long, the soldier was back in his warm room. His friends started paying him a visit more often, but all that the soldier could think about was the princess in the copper castle. He felt bad for the princess, locked away from the big, beautiful world. More than anything else, he wanted to see her. So he struck once and summoned the dog with teacup eyes. He asked it to fetch the princess. The princess was astonished, but she fell in love with the cheerful soldier. The dog took her back to her palace after a while. When she woke up, she thought it was all a dream and narrated it to the king and queen the next day. The king and queen looked at each other in dismay. The queen ordered a maid to keep a close eye on the princess. That night, the dog once again came to fetch the princess. The maid quickly ran after the dog and saw which door it went through. The maid took a chalk and marked a cross on it. However, the dog was smarter. It marked a cross on all the doors in that street. When the maid, king, queen, and the royal officers came to the street. They were dismayed to see crosses on all the doors. The queen had a better plan. The next night, she tied a cloth full of buckwheat onto the princess's waist when she slept. She poked a tiny hole in it. 
When the dog carried the princess away, it did not notice the buckwheat spilling and creating a trail. The next day, the royal officers arrested the soldier and threw him in prison. For the crime of abducting the princess, you shall be hung, said the king. The soldier was in big trouble, and he didn't have his tinderbox with him to help him out. I saw which door the dog went through. Now I know why the princess was taken away. Can you help me mark the right door? It has a ring-shaped handle. Well done. Now this mark will help me find the door later. We will soon find out who is the owner of this strange dog. If the king and queen find out that my master is summoning the princess often, he'll be in danger. We have to put marks on all the doors to confuse them. Can you help me? It was a bright idea. Now, nobody will find out where my master lives. Uh, here's that cross. Guards, come here. Your Majesty, there is a cross on that door. We certainly should go there. Your Majesty, look. There are crosses on all the doors. Someone played a joke on me and put crosses on every door around here. We have to find another way to trace the dog. I remember the queen tied a cloth full of buckwheat onto the princess's waist when she was asleep. We can trace the door by following the spilled buckwheat. But your majesty, it's too dark here. We can't see anything. Help us turn on the lights. Uh, there it is. This is the place where the dog brings the princess. In the morning, the soldier looked out through the window and saw a shoemaker's helper rushing through the street. He called out to him. Hey, would you like to earn four copper coins? All you have to do is go to the inn and fetch my old tinderbox by the bed. He was more than glad to do this simple job to earn four copper coins. But no sooner did he get the tinderbox than the royal officers took him off to the gallows. The soldier requested the king to grant him a last wish. I'd like to choose some tobacco from my box, he said. Go ahead then, but make it quick, said the king. And quick he was. The sparks flew as he struck the flint against the tinder thrice. When the dogs appeared, the soldier cried out, Save me! I don't want to be hanged. The dogs growled and bared their teeth at everyone. The people grew really scared. The king became nervous too. The king finally raised his hands. Please, don't let the dogs bite anyone. You are free. And what is more, our princess really fancies you. So let's arrange for a grand wedding. How do I get out? The window is boarded up. I should try to break these boards. Good job. Oh, we can't break these rods. Hey kid, come here. Would you like to earn four copper coins? All you have to do is go to my apartment and get my old tinderbox. Four copper coins? Yes, I'll fetch it. Yay! Here it is. Your last wish, soldier. I want to smoke. Smoking is bad for you. Whatever. I don't have much time left. Go ahead, soldier. But be quick. My dear doggies, save me. I don't want to be hanged. <laughs> God, please, don't let 
let these dogs harm us? You can marry the princess if you wish. I'll even make you the king. Please have mercy on us. Well, all right. I fell in love with your daughter. It would be an honor for me to marry her. The soldier was pleased. So was the princess. It was the best wedding that ever happened in the town. Everybody in the town was invited. The streets were decorated with paper flags and festoons. A huge shiny banner outside the palace announced the royal wedding. The wedding feast went on for a week, and everybody agreed that they had never tasted such good food before. It was partying, dancing, and merriment everywhere. The soldier and the princess were giddy with joy. As for the three dogs, they spent all their time eating and dancing with everyone. Mm -hmm.